These are the directions for workplace 7B raising fractions. Each pair of players will need five red game markers and five blue game markers. Players will decide who will play the red game markers and who will play the blue game markers. Then both players will take one of their markers at the beginning of each number line on their own game board. So if I were player one, I would pick blue and I'm gonna start right here on zero on the beginning of that number line. Each player will draw two cards and use them to form a fraction. So I have one and eight. So I'm gonna make this fraction one eight. Next, my partner will draw two cards, eight and eight. They would have eight eighths, so equal to one whole. Since player two had the larger fraction, they will go first and discard all the cards before we start. Player two will go first, so player two will draw two new cards and use them to form a fraction and move one of the game markers the distance shown on the card. So if I were player two and I got eight and four, this would be four eighths or one half. So I'm gonna move one half of the whole way on the number line. Player one will now do the same thing player two did by drawing two cards of their own to form a fraction. Player one got three sixths, so they're gonna do one half as well. Players will continue to take turns and check each other's work until one player's game markers are all gone. If player one is the first to get all her markers on a one, player two may take one last turn. If a player cannot find a possible move that they have drawn, they might lose a turn. Lastly, players will go out exactly. In other words, if a player has all markers except for one, with just one fourth left to go on the line and they draw a one and a two to form a fraction of one half, they lose. They have to go even onto one pole. These are the end of the directions for workplace 7B raising fractions. If you're looking for different variations of this game, players can work cooperatively and work together to help make, finish each other number lines and keep on track for a certain time period. Or both players can place one of their game markers at the end of each number line and subtract, getting closest to zero. Lastly, players may also choose to use either of the cards they draw on the given turn as a numerator or the denominator. For example, if the player draws the card six and three, they can rearrange those numbers to make it three-sixths or six-thirds.